Besides the ribbon and the quick access toolbar, other parts that make up the Microsoft OneNote screen include sections, pages, subpages, and the notebooks themselves. Let's first of all have a look over here on the left hand side of our screen. When I rest on my notebook, it says click to view other notebooks. And if I click this option here, I can see I have a number of notebooks that I can work between. I can go back to the personal notebook, or I can hit the drop down again and go back to my teacher toolkit. So I currently have five notebooks showing in what they call the notebook pane. Now it's quite tedious to have to hit the drop down and switch between the notebooks you want to work with. So I'm going to hit the drop down again and I'm going to lean on this pin. And what I want to do is pin the notebook pane to the side. So I'll click this option here and now I can see my notebooks quite clearly listed on the left hand side and I can move between them nice and easily. So coming back to this particular Microsoft Classroom notebook. This Microsoft Classroom Notebook has a number of sections and you can see them at the top here. Each section has its own name and even appears with a colour. The Teacher Toolkit for example has sort of got a purple colour to it. And the Communication and Collaboration section has got an orange colour to it. So you can have sections across the top here and you can move between them. Now going down the right hand side here we have what they call pages. And some of the pages are actually indented. Those are called subpages. So this is a page, an additional Office 365 is a subpage. So we move between pages simply by clicking. So what we can have in terms of structure is one notebook with multiple sections, one section with multiple pages, and some of those pages can be subpages. Another part of the screen I'd like to point out is down here in the lower left. Down here in the lower left we have what's known as Quick Notes. When I click on Quick Notes I can see any Quick Notes that I've put into this particular notebook. So Quick Notes is actually a notebook in its own right, but it's not listed with the other notebooks in the notebook pane. The other thing I'd like to point out is your account appears just up in the top right corner here and you can click it to sign in or sign out and that really is an introduction to the screen. There is actually one other thing I'd like to point out and that is the ribbon. When you're asked to choose file from the ribbon it's referring to here and to get out of file you simply hit the back button. Other tabs in the ribbon include insert, draw, etc and you just move between the tabs. Having gone to a certain tab in the ribbon, you'll also find there are various groups. This is the basic text group and this is the styles group. So you may be asked to choose the bold button, that would be this button here, the bold button in the basic text group on the home tab. Now if you happen to lose your ribbon, whether this be your desktop version of OneNote or your cloud version of OneNote, you simply double click one of these tabs, I'll double click home, and you can lose your ribbon. If I double click home again, I bring my ribbon back. The whole purpose is to declutter your screen. So we actually declutter our screen by double clicking and then bringing back the ribbon by double clicking again. You may also notice over here there's a little V. This will also collapse the ribbon and you can double click to bring it back. So be aware of that as well. You've also got a little search box here which we'll look at later too for search for keywords and key phrases. But that basically is an introduction to your screen.